Hi, I'm Ira Sigar. I'm a faculty at the Microbiology and Immunology Department, and today I'm going to talk about the Greensboro Four. Last winter, I watched a documentary called Seizing Justice, The Greensboro Four. It's based on four black freshman students, Ezel Blair Jr., David Richmond, Franklin McCain, and Joseph McNeil, who attended North Carolina A&T State University. On February 1, 1960, this young man decided to use the Nonviolent Act by refusing to leave a whites-only lunch counter without being served. This event, known as the Greensboro Sit-In, inspired a sit-in movement that, is, that eventually spread to 55 cities in 13 states. One by one, lunch counters across the country became integrated. This one protest in small town North Carolina was a significant mo moment in civil rights history that paved the way for many of the decades fight for racial justice. Last summer, I get a chance to visit this Woolworth at North Carolina, which is now the International Civil Rights Center and Museum. When I stood in front of the famous picture of the Greensboro Four, I couldn't imagine being so young and yet so ready to be humiliated publicly. These four students show me the courage to do the right thing even if it means jeopardizing your future, your life, as well as those of your family. Sometimes we think we must start big and have the power to make an impact, but all we need is two, three people who have the courage to stand up together.